Hello, welcome to EMC, Empire Minecraft. Um, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to build a shop or set up a shop. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, in the comments down below or in the notes down below I've got links to Empire Minecraft and the wiki entry that shows you how to make a shop sign if you need more information. So I've basically got two types of shop here. This one is just your normal shop, sells items per their ID number or name. Um, this one here is what they call a slot shop. So it sells whatever or buys whatever is in that slot number in the chest. So first we'll do the just the normal one. Um, these show you different types of shops, I suppose. This one here, the top one, um, buys and sells that item for those prices. Um, the buy, B, is what you pay to buy from the shop. The S, the sell, is what the shop pays you for items to sell to the shop. So to set up the sign, um, this is all you need to do. Um, enter those, the quantity, the buy and sell numbers, and the item ID, the shop automatically puts your name in there, so don't fill that out, leave the top line blank. Um, where can I make a shop for an example? Okay, let's make one over here. So you place a chest down. Uh, the, the shop sign can go on the chest, on any side of it, front, back, side, whatever, or it can go directly above the chest. Um, so you can pretty much put it, put it anywhere. Um, for convenience, I'm going to put this one on the chest. Now, I don't know if you know this, um, to put in, to attach a sign or something to a container, you have to hold down shift, the sneak button, and then right click. Um, otherwise, you right click will just open the chest. So for example, if we wanted to set up a cobblestone shop, you'd go down to the second line, enter how many of the item you want to sell at a time. So maybe you want to sell a stack of them, 64. Um, you want to put in the price. If you just want to buy it, only enter a buy price. If you want to just sell it, only enter a sell price. Um, when you're entering a sell price, remember to put the semicolon in the middle. And then the whatever amount you want to sell it for. Um, you don't need to put an S in there. You can if you want, but it automatically does that. Um, down on the bottom line, you put the ID number or name of the item that you want to sell. So in this case, 4 is the item ID for cobblestone, and then click Done. And there you are, you have a shop that is buying one stack of cobblestone for 40 rupees. Um, if you don't know what the ID number of an item is, you can put it in your hand, type slash item info, one word, and that comes up with the ID number for the item easy way of doing it. Um, things like tools and stuff have really crazy item ID numbers um, and they reflect the durability on the tool as well. Um, so if it's an undamaged um, tool or arm or anything it will be just the normal item ID. If it's damaged it will have a bunch of numbers after it. Okay let's look at this Scruffy's Fortune Pack for example. Item info um, so that's 257 bar 8, so basically telling you that 257 is, is an iron um, type 8 tool, and those numbers there are the enchantments that are on it. Um, doesn't have the durability in there. I'm not sure how that works actually, but durability does matter for some reason. Okay, so that's basically a um, how to set up a shop. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the slot shop. Um, the slot shops are, they're used for things like if you're selling, say, a horse egg or something where all the eggs are slightly different stats, so they're not identical, they don't all have the same ID, um, you can just use slot 1 and it will just sell um, whatever it is in slot 1, or if you've got a promo item or something that's non-vanilla Minecraft, um, you can sell it using a slot shop. So. Um, this example here, we've got one shop sign here that is selling five of whatever is in slot one. 
uh, sells them for 30 rupees or buys them for 15 rupees. Uh, down below you've got a s slot sign that only buys five of whatever is in slot 27 for 30 rupees. Over here we've got um, a sign that buys and sells whatever is in slot 2 in quantities of 2. Um, so you can actually have multiple slot signs on one chest um, as long as they're pointing to different slots. Um, if we look in the chest, so slot 1 is red wool. Um, one thing to note, when you're um, when people buy from a slot sign chest, it will take items from every other slot except for the slot that you've labelled um, until it runs out of items and then it will start selling from that slot, from the slot 1 in this case. So it'll sell all of these red wool before it starts selling that one, uh, which is handy. Um, yeah, what else is there? So building a slot sign is basically the same thing. We'll just build one here. Um, attach a chest, uh, sorry, attach a sign. So the quantity of whatever items, say three of them, you want to sell them for 50 rupees and you want to buy from the player for say 20 rupees. And we're going to um, use slot I don't think it matters whether this is in capital letters or lowercase, makes no difference as long as the letters are there. Slot 4, so it's going to sell, buy and sell whatever is in slot 4 in quantities of 3. Okay, so we've got nothing in there at the moment, maybe they're signs. So it's going to sell signs, 3 for 50 rupees. Um, that's about it. Um, I might pause here and I'm going to head into the wild and show you that the slot signs can also be um, set up in the wild or the wild nether um, using a locked chest. So you can set up shops in the wild, you just can't shit up, set up normal shop signs like this, only, only slot signs. Cool, any questions, uh, throw it in the comments. Thank you. Hi, okay so we're now on SMP9 South Wild um, nether portal in the nether. Um, this is a little bit of a base I built here on the other side of the nether portal. Um, this is Mr. Crafter, he's going to help me out demonstrating the slot uh, shops. Um, here I have a locked chest. You can see, oh, if I, okay, okay, there we go. You can see they're locked um, by me. Uh, once you've locked a chest, um, you can then put slot signs on it like this. So I've got um, slot one selling, buying and selling red stained glass, slot, slot two buying and selling stone, and around the side here I have slot three buying and selling quartz. Um, so if we open up the chest, you'll see a um, whole lot of glass here. When you, when the player buys from the shop, it will, it will um, give the player red stained glass from every slot before. Um, slot 1, so it will exhaust all of these before it sells from slot 1. Um, same with the stone, uh, it'll sell from every slot except for slot 2 until it runs out. Um, slot 3, only a little bit of nether quartz there. Uh, now the other thing to note is, for example, um, on the nether quartz, I'm selling it and buying it in lots of 3. Um, now I've being very particular about how many I put in there initially um, so that um, well if we go so there's 12 12 there right if I take one out if I sell four lots of nether quartz to a player then there's nothing left in that slot um, if they then sell to me some red stained glass or stone and it goes into slot three I'm gonna be then buying or selling quartz to them um, for this price here um, so it can mess up your shop if you're not careful. So I deliberately put in an uneven amount of quartz there so that no matter how many they buy or sell, there's always going to be um, at least one quartz left in that slot. So it will always um, have quartz in that slot and nothing will be able to overwrite it. So that's just something to be careful of. 
over here same thing again we've just got a whole lot of fire resist potions and buying and selling gas tiers so I've got a whole bunch of uh, fire resistance potions and a few gas tiers there again same thing um, these slot one and two will never run out of gas tiers or f um, potion of fire resistance so it will never um, buy or sell the wrong item to the player yeah so that's yeah as you can see here I've locked that chest as well so you lock the chest set up the sign and away you go so now I'm just going to uh, get Mr. Crafter to demonstrate the buying and the selling so you can see that it does work or how it works Um, hello again. I just forgot to mention one thing or or one little trick of using slot signs. Um, I've got a bunch of horse eggs here with um, all sorts of different stats. So if you wanted to have one shop that sells all of these eggs for the same price, um, one way to do it is with a slot sign. Um, now you can't just say slot one um, and put say this one in slot one because none of these horse eggs are the same um, which means it'll only sell slot one and then nothing else so what you do is you first of all put one item in whatever slot you're going to use we're going to use slot one and then just fill up all the other slots um, and we're going to attach a hopper to it um, so we stick a say a hopper onto there and then we stick another chest on there now if we just then fill this chest up with horse eggs it will automatically continuously try and fill the only slot that's going to be free <coughs> which is going to be slot one when someone buys that horse egg it empties the slot and a horse egg will feed from the hopper into the chest um, ready to sell another one so now we put a sign on it doesn't matter um, too much where the sign goes um, so we're going to sell one quantity one because there is only one there we're going to sell it for 100 rupees and slot one <clears throat> and there it is um, I'll see if I can get someone to demonstrate this um, but otherwise um, as soon as they, they'll click the sign they'll buy a horse egg that horse egg will leave the slot and another one will fill its place so you'll continually sell horse eggs until you run out of horse eggs yeah so that's one good use for a slot sign.